Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to an exciting new Let's Play of Victoria 2. So, for those of you who follow my Victoria 2 Let's Plays, uh, I was playing as the United States before. Good old US of A. Unfortunately, I ended up having to restart my computer, unfortunately. So as a result, all those saved files are now gone. So, unfortunately, it's unfortunate but it happened. You know, it's, it's life, it sucks, get over it. You know, we had managed to take over all, pretty much a good, huge chunk of North America, or not North America, um, Africa. And we managed to establish ourselves in China as well. So, but hey, it is what it is, guys, and there's not really much else you can do about it, so time to move on. So, that being said, it begs to uh, question, who am I going to play as next? You know, I don't really want to have to play as the United States again, you know, do all that work again just to get back to where it was. I don't, I don't want to do that. No one wants to do that. So, um, yeah. So we played as the Ottoman Empire, we played as Bavaria, and the United States. So you know what, I'm kind of in the mood to kind of take it easy for a little bit. So we're going to play as Prussia. Now I, I know, you know, it's not a challenge. I know it's relatively easy. I've played them before, I know how it is. <laughs> um, but eh, it's just, like I said, I want to take it easy for a little bit. So... You guys, you start out here, Central America, Central Europe, with all these little minor Germanic states. And nine times out of ten, you have a lot of these alliances popping up. All right. In fact, we go ahead and take a look at our sphere of influence. We see here all these, pretty much all these upper states here are in our sphere of influence. Now, this first step in order to form Germany would be to form the North German Federation. In order to do that, we need two states that are not in our sphere of influence. Can you guess what they are? It's going to be this red, which is Hanover, and this little bit of white, which is Saxony. And they are not that hard either to, you know, get into your sphere. So let's go ahead and just go through the normal uh, budget. Let's go ahead and increase our taxes. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead. Yeah, let's just do that for now. So we need to, let's go ahead and just decrease the military funding a little bit. Technology. We start with a lot of military tax, which is good. We're gonna go ahead though and do medicine. Because oh, political parties. So we have the Conservative Party, uh, the National Party, and the Liberal Party. We will uh, we are start out as a absolute monarchy, so we get to choose, and I choose the reactionaries for all these reasons, which we'll go ahead and just take a look at. So, with us being a, um, a reactionary, we're a bit more hardcore conservative. Uh, protectionism for our trade, state capitalism for our economy, moralism for our religious policy, uh, residency for citizenship, and jingoism for our war policy. Here, decisions. So we get a lot of decisions here. And right here you see the North German Federation, Confederation, which is what we're going to have to aspire for, first of all. Alright, so there's that uh, population. Let's go ahead here and do... Let's do clergymen, because we want to be able to go ahead and get our literacy up. We're at 63%, which isn't too bad, but it could be better. Trade's fine. We're not going to touch that. Diplomacy. Let's go ahead and just get some people as our allies. First of all, United Kingdom. So nine times out of ten, they will... And by nine times out of ten, I mean every single time. They'll always go ahead and be your ally first thing off. First off. Which is great, because they start as number one in the world. And these are all those little dramatic states that we have in our sphere. When we become the North Shore Federation, all that will disappear. Now, can we form an alliance with any other great powers? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and use our other diplomatic point to go ahead and declare, start to justify war against Denmark. Hmm. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and go for free the people against them because there is right here. And these two selections are also parts that we need to form of the North German Federation. So we need these two lands to be either released or in our sphere of influence or owned by us or whatever. And then there's this, um, Holstein, who is in, who's a satellite of Denmark. And we'll go ahead and just add that world goal on later on. All right, uh, Sweden. I want to go ahead and get an alliance with them to secure a uh, border to the north. And we have two diplomatic points left over. Netherlands. Don't want to do the Netherlands. Can we do Bavaria? No. Actually, let's go ahead and just increase our relations with Russia. No, decline. Let's go ahead and increase our relations with Saxony, and we can go ahead and start influencing them also. To get them out of Austria sphere into ours. And that's almost everything I want to do. Ooh, all right, this right here. We have three Clipper transports, which we're just going to delete. We don't have no use of them. We have no use of a Navy, really. And we'll have everybody converge here in Berlin. So without too much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so yeah, a lot, we're going to have a lot of these alliance offers from these uh, minor Germanic states. Oh, we were discredited. All right, let's go ahead and stop that. Where are they? There they are. We'll go ahead and stop influencing them. Let's go ahead and influence Hanover a little bit. So then the sphere of Britain, their, their puppets and everything, actually. So we're going to go ahead and just... Well, we got caught instantly. That's great. And discredited. Yep, we'll go ahead and accept these alliances. That's awesome. Okay, so there's that. We actually build some more regiments. There we go. Let's do undo that. We'll set Berlin to be the gather point. All right, and once everybody actually manages to get here, we'll go ahead and combine armies and just properly distribute them. Because when we first start out, each army, like, we'll take this one here. See, it's just a few, an engineer, artillery, and a bunch of other things. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Same composition. This one is all cavalry. So we can go ahead and just combine forces and distribute them appropriately. Balance. Balance. And at least in my opinion, the game does a fairly decent job of actually doing this. So, so if you come out here, you can come out here, and now we'll close. We'll leave you guys the same. Let's go ahead and balance this, and that's awesome. Let's go ahead and have you guys come on up, sp spread out. We're losing money, that's not good. So we're losing 100. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just drop our military spending a little bit. Increase taxes a smidgen. There we go. How's that look? Much better. Now we have a positive income. That's great. Everyone spread out. I like it. Okay. So, Saxony. When does our... This credit end? It ends in July. July or June? July. So that's four months from now. And if you pay attention to our my other Let's Plays of Victoria 2, you'll notice that there's a key event that happens in the world. And that is the coronation of Queen Victoria. When that happens... Adolf Treinsberg... A German educator laid down principles for teaching of children that aimed at making them conscious, thinking, responsible citizens. His ideas get him suspended. <laughs> Interesting ideas, nevertheless. Um, so anyways, I was saying, so when that happens, Hanover actually, actually, absolutely hates Britain. I don't actually know the exact political, um, you know, meaning or anything by it, behind it, but it happens and it's good for us. These little alliances, that's fine. So while that's going on, while we can't... Ooh. 
But we can't actually go ahead and influence those other states. I think go ahead and influence Luxembourg. We'll add Luxembourg to our sphere of influence. Because if you look at them, right here you see that they have a 41% North German um, cultural percentage. So that means once we actually get them into our sphere of influence and we form the North German Federation, Confederation, sorry, um, they actually become incorporated as well. Which is good because they have some iron. They have iron. I like iron. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at our natural resources. So you see here there's coal. We start with a lot of coal in our nation. And once we actually go ahead and get these other states into our nation, we get their access to coal also. What else have we got? Iron. We don't have a lot of iron in our nation. Except for like over here. Some here. Here. But it's better than nothing. So there's that. What else we got? What kind of goodies do we got? Grain. There's a good deal of grain everywhere in the world. So we have fruit. A lot of fruit. Anything else of worth noting? Cows. There's a lot of cows right here. 12 cows. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So up here we can go ahead and influence Luxembourg. Increase our that and now we can go ahead and declare war in Denmark to free the people of Schleswig Danish Schleswig Holstein proceed we don't need anyone else to join us they don't have any allies so this should be a relatively clean easy sweep budget we'll increase our military funding and send in the troops and you see here that uh, Holstein does come into the war as well Dun, 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 dun. You know what? Let's go ahead and call in Sweden. It says they're unlikely. And we're not surprised that they end up joining us. That's good. Hey, look at that. They're invading. Where is the Swedish military? Up there. Okay. They're good. I'm not too concerned. So we're occupying them. That's great. Our nation is going broke slowly but surely. And that's okay. You're finished. Outstanding. Move on up. Where is the Swedish army? Why are you down there? You guys are getting occupied, right? Ugh. Swedish people. What are you going to do with you? Alright, you're about to be finished. Go ahead and move on up. Let's go and take a look at Luxembourg. We're already friendly with them, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and stop uh, influencing them for a moment to hit up Saxony. And increase our relation with them. And this game is very, very easy for Prussia to later on form Germany uh, to become easily the world's number one power. There we go. Finish up that siege. Move on up. Can we? No, we can't. Where is the Swedish? Ooh, that looked bad for a second. There you go. Kick their butt, Swede. Swedish Navy is going to kick their butt. Did Sweden add any war goals or anything? Do they want anything out of this? Nope. Nothing yet. You can see we're easily dominating this war. See, they're already offering us peace. And that's nice and everything, but we want a little bit more. Oh, nope. Oh, add war goal? Can we do it? Not quite yet soon ok 
Okay, so you're done. Go ahead and move over here. No, we can't because Navy. Naval reasons, we can't do it. But that's alright. Let's go ahead and just have you come on over here. Finish sieging up this bit of Denmark. What's this actually called? I can't pronounce that. Something land. Yaland? I don't know. But did you know that if you stand in Denmark, like over here, you can actually see the coast of Sweden? It's pretty interesting. Alright, Swedish Navy, what are you doing? Alright, so they moved over here. Hopefully those just stay there, not going anywhere. So as soon as we're done sieging this, we can go ahead and move into these island, um, island-like states. No, they just keep moving back and forth. And we can't go over there. It's fine. As soon as you're done... Awesome. Now, can we get the additional war goal yet? Not quite. We're very, very close, but not yet. All right, just finish this up and we'll be good to go. Denmark, so they're offering us peas. I say shove it because we want to add something else. We want to be able to go ahead and declare that um, whole sign be you know liberated free. So just gonna have this army pull back. Have these guys switch because you're taking a lot of attrition, and there's more supply limit available in De Berlin. Go ahead and just moving in, in. Help them out. Help them siege. They're not being occupied anywhere else, so that's good. Alright. Very good. May I take the capital? That's what I like to see. Now, can we add that war goal? Not yet. Slowly but surely, eventually. Let's go ahead and buff up the speed a little bit. And while that's going on, let's go ahead and take a look at Saxony. So we're at 100%. We're friendly with them. Let's go ahead and remove them from the sphere of influence of Austria. So we can just get them into our sphere. And while they're doing that, let's go ahead and also hit up Luxembourg. Just a little bit. One little, nah, one little niche. Interesting. You guys can read that for yourself. I don't really care about it. We're at 91%, which is nice. But still. We need to get this up. And there's uh, console commands and everything that I could do to, you know, get that jingoism up. Because in my opinion, it is kind of a jacked up um, fe feature. Being one, an absolute monarchy like we are, we should be able to go ahead and, you know, take it as we see fit. You know, that's just my opinion. We're about to be done with our research, which is nice. Look at that. Ta da. Culture. Set up realism so we can get that extra prestige. Go away. 6.6, .6. gotta get that up 6.9, it's, it's going up too. They have absolutely no military power whatsoever. 6.7, nope, you're going the wrong way, you gotta go up. Go up. You're going the wrong way, why are you going down? There you go, nope, you're right, yep, that way, nope. There we go. All right, so we got discredited in Saxony. Let's go and take a look at those. All right, so we have them. Add another sphere. Guten Tag. And add them to our sphere also. 
So we have two of the three nations that we require in order to get the North German Federation. We have like two out of, I don't know, six lands. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just influence these guys also. And Denmark, are you ready to let us do it? Can we do it yet? We're 6.7 in dropping. It fluctuates up and down, up and down. So, we're at 97%. Maybe if we get to 100, then we can go ahead and just add it. Maybe? Question mark? We're almost there, guys. 6.8 out of 6.9. Um, who is it? Hanover. Let's go ahead and increase uh, their opinion of us. So that way, once they start hating Britain, we can go ahead and just do what we need to do. Okay, we are in debt. Oof. I just noticed that. Let's go ahead and drop our military monies down. <laughs> military spending. What is the event? Potato Blight. All right, so we're at 6.9 and slowly ever increasing. Saxony, I accept your offer of an alliance. All right, six point nine. So I get it up just a little bit more, guys. There we go. Keep going up. So close. And come on, don't stop. There you go. All right, so we got discredited. So going to stop touching them. All right, we've done it. We're at one hundred percent. I'm going to add a war goal. Which would be to liberate the country? No. Water state, place in the sun. Oh, release puppet. There we go. The pole sign. And that bumps up our infamy up to 8.38, which isn't too bad. I've seen worse. And so yeah, now let's go ahead and give him peace. Beautiful. And it looks like <laughs> they have rebels for some reason. Can we get some uh, military actions to help you out with that? Yes, they can. All right, go ahead and head on up and head on back. So we're doing well. Oh, got that. So yeah, now what we're missing is this little bit of land. Hanover. Go ahead and pay back our loans that we took on accident. There we go. What's the phrase? The Lancer always pays his debts. All right. So now we got it up to 100. It's going to stop. And wait for the event to happen. In the meantime, Kingdom 2 Sicily, don't want you in my sphere. In fact, do you want an alliance? They will accept. Uh, Netherlands, alliance? Nope. They said nope. They said go away. Filthy Germans. I'm like, whoa, bro. Dun, 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 dun. Beautiful music. Russia is allied with France. Austria is allied with Britain like we are. Well, we were. Are we not still? What the hell, Britain? 
What the hell? Well, fine. I guess we gotta find someone else to find to form an alliance with. Spain. Screw it. For the most part, Spain it is. I cannot believe the audacity that the British had. And the uh, coronation of Queen Victoria should happen any moment now. God, that's gonna bug me up there. Until the event actually happens, it's gonna bug the crap out of me. Uh, how are we looking at Luxembourg? They're friendly, so gotta keep an eye on them. Alright. But before our time is up, we will end up having to go to war with Denmark one more time. And you'll find out why later on when that happens. <laughs> Upper house been rearranged. All right, two Sicilies. We'll make them like us a little bit more. Where is Luxembourg? Here you are. I'm just checking all these guys to make sure no one's going to end up getting stolen from us. On halt. Austria is hostile. Okay, that's good. Alright, so it doesn't look like we have any competitions anywhere that we really need to worry about. What's this? Child labor laws passed. Those poor children. Following Britain's lead in 1839, Prussia, under the influence of some religious and social figures, passed a law strictly regulating the amount of child labor that was possible during the year. That's good for them. Dun, da, da, dum, bum, bum. Oh, came to assistance. Where are you? Here you are. Next time we interact with you, we will be adding you to our sphere of influence. Go ahead and open them all, subsidize them all. So we could do that. Send in the troops. Alright, not quite sure what's going on here, but we should be able to. Don't know when the coronation is going to happen. Yeah, for the most part, we're just waiting. Not really much else we can do. Actually, I want to take a look at the factories. We have a lot of factories in Brandenburg. That's really it. How are we on 2.4, 2.47? Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. I can't believe we lost an alliance with the Britain. Jerks. Alright, we can now add King of Two Sicilies to our sphere of influence, which is great. Okay. Who else can we add? Sweden, you're our ally. Get in our sphere. Okay. Research looks to be done on February, a couple months. By a couple months, I mean one month. 
Can we increase our education? We can. Let's do that. Hold on with some lines. I say yes. Rebels are forming in our nation. That's alright. We have outlaw slavery. That's good. Alright, so we finished our research. Uh, let's go ahead and hit up some industrial ones. Let's do the experimental railroad. So we can connect our great nation from end to end. Let's go and do only landed voting. So by us doing, oh, our pres our king died, Fre uh, King Frederick Wilhelm. On June seventh, eighteen forty, King Frederick Wilhelm the third died, almost seventy years old. His son, a romantic, succeeded him on the throne. Long live the king! And so we've allowed voting into our nation. We should bring about some change. Hey, there's those prestige ones. Those prestigious uh, inventions, if you will. Sweden, how are you? Russia's cordial with them. They're not investing anything. And we can increase our opinion. Circle of newspapers. Nelkenberg is afraid of us, as they should be. Queen Victoria got married. Wait, Queen Victoria. She already... She's not queen yet. Alright, so by us enacting, um... Voting, our government's gonna be changed to a limited constitutionalism. The political reforms enacted in the past few years have led to a situation where the absolutism of our monarchy can now legitimately be called into question. No longer is the king free to dictate the course of the nation to his own musing, but instead he has to accept several constitutional hems and restrictions on his exercise of power. For these reasons, our government form is no longer most accurately described as an absolute monarchy. Now we get elections. All right, what do we have here? Residency, yes, thirty percent residency. Uh, protectionism. We want to keep the conservative party in power for the most part, just so that way we don't have limitations on our taxes or our. Uh, such things such as our taxes, um, tariffs, spending, things like that. And so we can also influence the factories as well. Um, moralism, that's what they want. Alright, so how about that uh, coronation? When's that going to happen? Right, we'll finish our railroads. we we'll do clean coal. Actually, no, let's go and do our art military. It's gonna work on that a little bit. Mm, jingoism. Of course. France is eventually gonna go to war against Morocco, which is fine. Oh, my jingoism. Alright, let's go and take a look here and make sure everyone's still in our sphere as they should be. No one's gonna be really close to. Snagging them, are they? We got here state capitalism or interventionism. I say state capitalism. Now, ah, what do we have? 73 here from Austria. Yeah, let's go ahead and start doing that. Decrease in two Sicilies. Sorry, so we need to go down a little bit. We gotta catch up to Austria and make sure that they don't actually manage to um, steal you from us. 
Dijonism. And where is Luxembourg? I want to make sure Luxembourg is still ours for a long time. Question's finished. Luxembourg is right here. All right, yeah, you're still ours for a long time. Chemotherapy. All right, as soon as you're up, we're gonna go ahead and ban Austria. The last thing we want is for the coronation of Queen Victoria to happen, and then for um, Ottoman or Austria to steal Saxony. There we go. So there's that. That's good. Now let's go ahead and hit Sweden up again. Okay. I want to increase our relations with Russia a little bit. There we go. We have here. Okay. Prussian Empress. The enormous white crown leaves of the flower shine with unrivaled luster. The botanic expedition we dispatched some time ago has returned home with a newly discovered flower. The flower, which is the size of the fist of a full-grown man, has quickly become the talk of Europe, as gardeners all across the continent strive to cultivate it. In honor of the rich sponsorship, we have provided our exceptional... Our, uh, in honor of the rich sponsorships, we have provided our expedition... The flower has been named the Prussian Empress. We get a buttload of prestige and research points as well. All right. Coronation of Queen Victoria. On 28th of June in 1833, Princess Alexandria Victoria of House Hanover ascended to the throne of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland as Queen Victoria. Her reign, which will last even a few years into the 20th century, would later be rem uh, remembered as the absolute zenith of the British Empire, upon which the sun never set. The last British monarch of the House of Hanover, her ascension also marked the end of the personal union between Britain and Hanover. Today, a jubilant crowd in London has escorted the young Queen Victoria to her residence in the newly built Buckingham Palace. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Add them to our sphere. And what's this? What is this little button? The North German Confederation. What's that? North German Confederation. While Germany was not united under the proclamation of the German Empire until the uh, Franco-Prussian War, rising nationalism in the 19th century had meant the unification had been on the cards long before that, with the Frankfurt Assembly of 1848 being an important forerunner. By achieving the dominant position among the North German states, we can form the North German Confederation. And as we have... So there's that. That's awesome. Now, let's go ahead and build railroads in every single state. That'd be great if we could just do it like across the country. That'd be perfect. What's this? Uh, liberalism. Okay, we're almost done building our railroads. That's Russian lands. We can't build in Russian lands. Oh, we're broke. That's why. <laughs> All right. And so with the formation of the North German Federa uh, Federation and our research being done, this seems like a great place to end the video for now. So I want to thank you guys for being here with me. Um, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next adventure. So until then, have a good day. Bye. For all these reasons which we'll go ahead and just take a look at. So with us being um, a reactionary, we're a bit more hardcore conservative. Uh, protectionism for our trade, state capitalism for our economy, moralism for our religious policy, uh, residency for citizenship, and jingoism for our war policy.
here, decisions. So we get a lot of decisions here. And right here you see the Northern Federation, Confederation, which is what we're going to have to aspire for, first of all. All right, so there's that uh, population. Let's go ahead here and do... Let's do clergymen, because we want to be able to go ahead and get our literacy up. We're at 63%, which isn't too bad, but it could be better. Trade's fine. We're not going to touch that. Diplomacy. Let's go ahead and just get some people as our allies. First of all, United Kingdom. So nine times out of ten, they will, and by nine times out of ten, I mean every single time, they'll always go ahead and be your ally first thing off. First off. Which is great, because they start as number one in the world. And these are all those little dramatic states that we have in our sphere. When we become the North Shore Federation, all that will disappear. Now, can we form an alliance with any other great powers? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. So there's that. Now, let's go ahead and use our other diplomatic point to go ahead and declare... Start to justify war against Denmark. Hmm. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go for free the people against them because there is right here in these two selections are also parts that we need to form of the North German Federation. So we need these two lands to be either released or in our sphere of influence or owned by us or whatever. And then there's this, um, Holstein, who is in, who is a satellite of Denmark. And we'll go ahead and just add that we'll go on later on. All right, uh, Sweden. I want to go ahead and get an alliance with them to secure our uh, border to the north. And we have two diplomatic points left over. Netherlands. Don't want to do the Netherlands. Can we do Bavaria? No. Actually, let's go ahead and just increase our relations with Russia. No, decline. Let's go ahead and increase our relations with Saxony, and we can go ahead and start influencing them also. To get them out of Austria sphere into ours. And that's almost everything I want to do. Ooh, all right, this right here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to an exciting new Let's Play of Victoria 2. So for those of you who follow my Victoria 2 Let's Plays, uh, I was playing as the United States before. Good old US of A. Unfortunately, I ended up having to restart my computer, unfortunately. So as a result, all those saved files are now gone. So, unfortunately, it's unfortunate, but it happened. You know, it's, it's life. It sucks. Get over it. You know, we had managed to take over all, pretty much a good, huge chunk of North America, or not North America, um, Africa. And we managed to establish ourselves in China as well. So... But hey, it is what it is, guys, and there's not really much else you can do about it, so time to move on. So, that being said, it begs to uh, question, who am I going to play as next? You know, I don't really want to have to play as the United States again, you know, do all that work again just to get back to where it was. I don't, I don't want to do that. No one wants to do that. So, um, yeah. So we played as the Ottoman Empire, we played as Bavaria, and the United States. So you know what? I'm kind of in the mood to kind of take it easy for a little bit. So we're going to play as Prussia. Now, I, I know, you know, it's not a challenge. I know it's relatively easy. I've played them before. I know how it is. <laughs> um, but eh, it's just, like I said, I want to take it easy for a little bit. So, you guys, you start out here, Central America, Central Europe, with all these little minor Germanic states. And nine times out of ten, you have a lot of these alliances popping up. All right. In fact, we go ahead and take a look at our sphere of influence. We see here, all these, pretty much all these upper states here are in our sphere of influence. Now, this first step in order to form Germany would be to form the North German Federation. In order to do that, we need two states that are not in our sphere of influence. Can you guess what they are? It's going to be this red, which is Hanover, and this little bit of white, which is Saxony. And they are not that hard either to, you know, get into your sphere. So let's go ahead and just go through the normals uh, budget. 
go ahead and increase our taxes. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead. Yeah, let's just do that for now. So we need. To, let's go ahead and just decrease the military funding a little bit. Technology. We start with a lot of military tax, which is good. We're gonna go ahead though and do medicine. Because political parties. So we have the Conservative Party, uh, the National Party, and the Liberal Party. We will. Uh, we are start out as a absolute monarchy, so we get to choose. And I choose the reactionaries. We have three clipper transports, which we're just going to delete. We don't have no use of them. We have no use of a navy, really. And we'll have everybody converge here in Berlin. So without too much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So yeah, a lot. We're gonna have a lot of these alliance offers from these uh, minor Germanic states. Oh, we were discredited. All right, let's go ahead and stop that. Where are they? There they are. We'll go ahead and stop influencing them. Let's go ahead and influence Hanover a little bit. So then the sphere of Britain, their their puppets and everything actually. So we're gonna go ahead and just. Well, we got caught instantly. That's great. And discredited. Yep, we'll go ahead and accept these alliances. That's awesome. Okay. So there's that. We actually build some more regiments. There we go. Let's do undo that. We'll set Berlin to be the gather point. All right, and once everybody actually manages to get here, we'll go ahead and combine armies and just properly distribute them. Because when we first start out, each army, like, we'll take this one here. See, it's just a few, an engineer, artillery, and a bunch of other things. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Same composition. This one is all cavalry. So we can go ahead and just combine forces and distribute them appropriately. Balance. Balance. And at least in my opinion, the game does a fairly decent job of actually doing this. So, so if you come out here, you can come out here, and now nah, we're close. We'll leave you guys the same. Let's go ahead and balance this. And that's awesome. Let's go ahead and have you guys come on up, sp spread out. We're losing money. That's not good. So we're losing 100. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just drop our military spending a little bit. Increase taxes a smidgen. There we go. How's that look? Much better. Now we have a positive income. That's great. Everyone spread out. I like it. Okay. So, Saxony. When does our... This credit end? Ends in July. July or June? July. So that's four months from now. And if you pay attention to our my other Let's Plays of Victoria 2, you'll notice that there's a key event that happens in the world. And that is the coronation of Queen Victoria. And look at that, they're invading. Where is the Swedish military? Up there. Okay. They're good. I'm not too concerned. Alright, so we're occupying them. That's great. Our nation is going broke slowly but surely, and that's okay. You're finished. Outstanding. Move on up. Where is the Swedish army? Why are you down there? You guys are getting occupied, right? Ugh, Swedish people. What are you going to do with you? Alright, you're about to be finished. Go ahead and move on up. Let's go and take a look at Luxembourg. We're already friendly with them, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and stop 
uh, influence him for a moment to hit up Saxony. And increase our relation with them. And this game is very, very easy for Prussia to later on form Germany uh, to become easily the world's number one power. There we go. Finish up that siege. Move on up. Can we? No, we can't. Where is the Swedish? Ooh, that looked bad for a second. There you go. Kick their butt, Swede. Swedish Navy is going to kick their butt. Did Sweden add any war goals or anything? Do they want anything out of this? Nope, nothing yet. You can see we're easily dominating this war. See, they're already offering us peace. And that's nice and everything, but we want a little bit more. Oh, nope. Oh, add war goal? Can we do it? Not quite yet. Soon. Okay, you're done. Go ahead and move over here. No, we can't because Navy. Naval reasons. We can't do it. But that's alright. Let's go ahead and just have you come on over here. Finish sieging up this bit of Denmark. What's this actually called? I can't pronounce that. Something land. Yaland? I don't know. But did you know when that happens? Adolf Dreinsberg, a German educator, laid down principles for teaching of children that aimed at making them conscious, thinking, responsible citizens. His ideas get them suspended. <laughs> Interesting ideas, nevertheless. Um, so anyways, I was saying, so ha when that happens, Hanover actually, actually, absolutely hates Britain. I don't actually know the exact political, um, you know, meaning or anything by it, behind it, but it happens and it's good for us. These little alliances, that's fine. So while that's going on, while we can't, ooh, while we can't actually go ahead and influence those other states, we can go ahead and influence Luxembourg. We'll add Luxembourg to our sphere of influence, because if you look at them, right here you see that they have a 41% North German um, cultural percentage. So that means once we actually get them to our sphere of influence, and we form the North German Federation, Confederation, sorry. Um, they actually become incorporated as well. Which is good because they have some iron. They have iron. I like iron. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at our natural resources. So you see here there's coal. We start with a lot of coal in our nation. And once we actually go ahead and get these other states into our nation, we get their access to coal also. What else have we got? Iron. We don't have a lot of iron in our nation. Except for like over here. Some here. Here. But it's better than nothing. So there's that. What else we got? What kind of goodies do we got? Grain. There's a good deal of grain everywhere in the world. So we have fruit. A lot of fruit. Anything else of worth noting? Cows. A lot of cows right here. Twelve cows. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So up here we can go ahead and influence Luxembourg. Increase our that. And now we can go ahead and declare war in Denmark to free the people of Schleswig. Danish schleswig Holstein. Proceed. We don't need anyone else to join us. They don't have any allies. So this should be a relatively clean, easy sweep. Budget. We'll increase our military funding. And send in the troops. And you see here that the whole sign does come into the war as well. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? Let's go ahead and call in Sweden. It says they're unlikely. And we're not surprised that they end up joining us. That's good. 